squeezed in between the busy city of Amsterdam and the quiet town of Utsan lies an extraordinary place. Dense forests, fertile ponds, and endless grasslands. It's a natural reserve where creatures live side by side like nowhere else in the world. This young but vibrant reserve is called the Twisk. Last autumn, peace was disturbed violently. The incredible force of last year's autumn storm clearly left its mark. Fallen branches cover the ground. Broken trees render the forest almost as horizontal as it is vertical. Not many animals dare to face the cold, and the few ones that do, like this male, Mavis, are having a hard time finding what they are looking for. Working vigorously, he can turn over a thousand leaves a day to find enough small insects to satisfy his hunger. He is not alone in his efforts as a red wing joins in the search. In this environment, working together is always a bit more bearable than working alone. On the other side of the lake, a single doe rabbit is trying to keep herself warm. Working outside her own territory, she has to be careful not to get spotted. Her adventurous attitude pays off as she finds the last fresh leaves available. Now, all she needs to do is stretch high enough to reach them. A few other creatures remain above ground, but most animals stay safely hidden in their homes, waiting for the warmer days to come. When spring arrives, lush green fields appear from under the snow, and with it, a vast diversity of natural life. Young, sappy leaves grow from every branch, though not without danger. The older leaf beetle eats its way through growing leaves once he finds them. And with enough food around, the female beetles can produce over 900 eggs, potentially harming enormous amounts of plants. Luckily, other insects help out to restore nature's balance. Fresh grass and leaves provide much needed nutrition for the growing youngsters with mothers and fathers teaching them how to find it properly. The necks of these six young swans are still relatively short. They can't make use of gravity to sever the plants like their parents. Their only option is to shake things up a little. the other side of the forest, large tribes of rabbits inhabit the green meadows. Underground, their homes of interconnected corridors can cover entire hills. Above ground, they are one of the fastest animals around, reaching up to 34 miles per hour. But despite their speed, they hardly travel far away from their territory. Rabbits aren't very welcoming to outsiders, and the result of a fight could mean losing an eye. A significant part of this area is covered by water. In these still waters, one sound rules out all the others. So reason for croaking is to find a suitable mate. And this male just caught the attention of a nearby female. 
All he needs to do now is to get close enough without scaring her away. Now for the final leap. A last moment change of heart and the female swims away. He will need to wait for the next opportunity. There is another more obscure territory and to explore it we'll need to dive underwater. An abundance of aquatic vegetation means life here can flourish like nowhere else. Large schools of perch stick safely together, while the true hunters of the deep lie in wait. This pike has no problem finding prey here, so in between meals he resides at the bottom of the lake to rest. By far the largest animal in the Twisk is the Highland cow. This colossal 1,600 pound animal concerns itself with one thing, eating. Even its aggressive looking horns are used mostly for digging in the snow to get to the grass underneath. It's one of the few types of breed that makes little to no distinction between the different types of grass he eats. And this means most meals have to be chewed up multiple times. It's a harmonious wilderness with a place for everyone. A true celebration of diversity. In our next episode, we will dive deeper into the wild and discover one of the Twisk's most bizarre creatures. An eccentric species that only joins the natural harmony once a year at the end of summer. Join us this September for a next Planet Climb Race.